just a quick update concerning the air leak and so I thought before I start trying to disassemble the manifold I would uh, take a quick look at the throttle and the throttle piston that goes in this down this chamber here I am just wanted to check to make sure that the piston goes all the way to the bottom and it does uh, what I did was I took this hose off here um, so removed the boot well the clip first of course and then looked inside here uh, just from this side just to see if the piston was bottoming out okay and it was and I've also been up to the handlebar as well and just checked on the slackness or the tightness of the throttle cable and everything seems to be working just fine so it looks like it may be this manifold here and what you can see is I've already started to lift the the bolts out of the manifold what I did do was I soaked those screws in penetrating oil for quite a number of days actually it's been over a week and so I just wanted to make sure that uh, as I took those out that I didn't uh, bust any threads and so they ca they came out pretty easily uh, I think it was a 10, 10 millimeter socket wrench just reaching down here and then actually while the bike was still hot I uh, untightened those as well and you can see how that's moving um, I haven't disturbed it in any other way I haven't tapped it or anything all I've done is I've unscrewed these uh, these manifold bolts and you can see already that there's a gap in there as well that I would have expected to have been glued down with with gasket cement or something like that that it shouldn't have actually budged so it gives me a good idea that that's where the air leaks taking place so I'll tighten these back up again remove the carburetor from this manifold then remove the manifold just clean this whole surface you know obviously not getting anything into the head and then I'll apply some gasket cement or I'll just see if I can maybe even make a gasket before uh, reseating these bolts and then trying again